Dr. Zabarski, I presume. Comrade Jasinski. Just call me Felix. Comrade. Uh, Felix, it's, uh, it's an honor to... Uh, Dr. Zabarski, what is it I can do you for? I, uh, I heard you told the Committee for Immortalization that, um... Go on. Your friend, uh, well, a friend of mine told me that you said the question is not so much should we preserve Vladimir Illich's body, but, uh, but how? Your friend is surprisingly well informed. Comrade Stalin is very keen to keep Lenin's form preserved. I think it stems from his orthodox beliefs, you know, sanctification. And of course, it was the, the exact opposite of what Trotsky wanted. Yes. Do you have uh, any particular ideas on uh, how? The committee is strongly in favour of freezing the body. Freezing? Lenin's body? Yes, my friend. Is there anything wrong with that? Well, it's, uh, it, it, it's just a small matter. Go on. Well, I believe it's quite apparent. Uh, forgive me, I do not have a background in science. But it can't possibly work. Why not? For a million reasons. But to put it simply, the human body is, uh, is much more complex than, say, um, a carrot. After bringing me all this way to hear you lampoon the decisions of the committee, I'd be fascinated to know what you think the alternative is. You see, Felix, I know this guy, a, a professor of autonomy at the University of Krakow. He's brilliant. He's, he's a genius. His name is Vladimir Vrbel. Yes. We had him inspect the body. He made a few practical suggestions. He made very few pra practical suggestions of his own, but seemed to enjoy criticising other people's. I can see why you two are friends. Um, well, besides, uh, b besides him being a very passionate scientist and a, an interesting character, he has recently perfected a method of balsamic embalming. It's, it's revolutionary. I mean, it's never been tried before. And before he left to Moscow, well, he wrote me this letter. And? Comrade Jasinski, uh, Felix. We are ready to save the body. If we don't, you'll, you'll freeze it anyway and you'll destroy any hope of putting Lenin on a public display. And if we fail, well, well, at least the body can be buried. At last. Some people are ready to commit themselves and really take risks. Fact. It is known that Lenin's body was removed from Moscow and taken to Siberia for the duration of the Great Patriotic War. It's also widely believed that the body we see today in a red square is not that of Vladimir Ilyich, but rather an unfortunate lookalike or elaborate waxwork. That's less than common knowledge is how these items can be connected. On his return from Siberia, Lenin's packaging crate was involved in bureaucratic Misha, which left him inside the belly of a cargo ship bound for Liverpool. It was not long after the crew had disembarked that they realized just how serious an international incident their defection to the West might case, or whether somebody in the Kremlin must have decided that it would be easier to replace the body with a fake uh, than to tell <coughs> Comrade Stalin. Years later, some of the sailors from the cargo ship formed a skiffle group. They called themselves Johnny Sputnik and Cosmonauts. <laughs>